the wonderfully ridiculous William Shatner once told a story on TV quite seriously about how he met some Vietnam veterans who told him that they had survived and stayed sane in captivity because they would recreate all the episodes of Star Trek. And he told this story rather sincerely and I laughed at him, but you know what? It makes sense now, doesn't it? It's a pity I'm not a Shakespearean actor and don't have all the roles in my head so I could stand out here and deliver. So I'll have to go get my book. But in the meantime, how many of us can remember to be or not to be? Let's see, to be or not to be? That is the question. Whether tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against the sea of troubles and by opposing end them, to die, to sleep, no more, and by a sleep, to say we end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished, to die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream. Aye, there's the reb, for in that sleep of death what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the spurns the patient merit of the unworthy take, when he himself, my dear quietus, make with a bare bodkin. What's a bodkin? Who would these... Etc. Etc. See, I have to go back and practice. I'll be back later with a better version. Meantime, someone else come up with the rest of it for me.